Hey everyone, this is Steven once again. Today's tutorial is going to be on making a grass texture. And you can use this for games or 3D, you know, 3D renders or just to look at. Uh, I don't care. Let's start off by making a new document. Uh, 500 by 500. Color mode is going to be RGB. Okay. And let's make our colors black and white. And you can do this by clicking the keyboard shortcut D and that changed the colors black and white. So come on over to filter, render, clouds. Let's double click on this layer and name it dirt. Okay. Right now it's some pretty funky dirt, so let's add some noise to that. So filter, noise, add noise. And we're going to use Gaussian and monochromatic. Let's change the amount to 44. Okay, now let's blur it a little bit by going over to Filter Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we'll leave it at this 0.9. And now coming over to Filter, Blur, or Brush Stroke, and choose Splatter. I'm going to have the spray radius to 21 and smoothness to 2. And now Let's go to Hue and Saturation. You can do this by clicking Control U or Image Adjustments Hue slash Saturation. Click on Colorize. And let's change this to 49, 29, and negative, oops, 29, and then negative 38. And that gives us a better looking dirt. Now, coming over to your layers again, let's make a new layer, name this one grass. And let's choose a green color. I'm going to use this one. You can, whatever, I don't care what color you use. You can make it yellow, whatever. Click on OK. And then Alt Backspace to fill it in. And now let's add some noise to this. Filter, noise, add noise. Same settings, but change this to 30. Let's blur as well. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we'll leave these same settings as well. Now this, this could work as a game texture. Uh, if you use this, there's nothing wrong with that, but it doesn't look extremely realistic. So let's change that by adding a little bit of wind to it so it looks like the grass is actually growing. So I'm going to come, up, come over to filter, stylize wind. And I will do it from the right side with stagger. And now it's all going in one direction. Again, that's fine. It's preference. So I'm just going to add, make it go into one more direction. So I'm going to do this by going to image, rotate canvas, clockwise. And then let's go to over to Filter, Stylize, Wind. And this time I'm going to go from the left. Let's rotate that back by going to Image, Rotate Canvas, Counterclockwise. Now the grass doesn't look very healthy. It looks kind of dark and, you know, right after it, right after the winter, the grass is kind of dead. So we're going to change this by adjusting the contrast. So come on over to Image, Adjustments, Levels. And I'm going to, to drag this over uh, to about there. So now it looks like a brighter color. Click on OK. And let me do one more thing. I'm going to crop this out uh, just because there's that dark edges all along these two sides where we did the wind effect click enter and now this comes in where you can skip this step if you want to you know perfect grass but we made this nice dirt level this nice dirt layer and I'm going to use it what I'm going to do with it is coming over to this grass layer let's add a layer mask and I'm going to choose a light or a dark gray color actually and make sure you're on this masking layer. Go 
to your brush tool and I'm just gonna choose one of these default brushes that kind of looks like a spray paint and I'm just gonna click randomly and you can see what that does it adds a little bit of dirt and makes it look more realistic like you can see the dirt coming through it um, you might want to do a little better of a job than I'm doing you, mine looks a little too splotchy but you get the main idea and that's it for this tutorial hopefully this is something new if not maybe you learned something new and again if you uh, have anything you want me to do a tutorial on just post it in as a comment in any one of my videos hopefully I'll see it and I'll get the tutorial out as quick as possible thanks for watching